is Sunday again and you have me. Um, who's excited for Pride? Because I know that I am. I mean, I'm, I'm even wearing my gay hat. And it's just like, mm. I'm actually so excited. I can't, I can't stand it. Um, I was going to play music for you guys. Oh, I can now because my iPod has charged. I was, I was just about to say I can't play music for you because my iPod has run out of battery, but it's not anymore. So I'm going to just put some music on for you all now because I can. Oh, here we go. I like this. Awesome. Hold on. Okay. All right then. Um, so this is uh this video this video this the topic for this week is about um basically gay people portrayed in the media. Um, I hate saying LGBTQ all the time because it's like, ugh, it's just so much effort to say. I know that sounds really really lazy of me, but you know. You get lazy sometimes. Um, but yeah, I mean, you have the obvious ones. Sorry, I'm reading, I'm reading off this thing. Um, <laughs> you, you get the obvious programs, like um, South Park and Family Guy. Um, for instance, in Family Guy, um, Stewie is, uh, well, he's basically made out to be gay, or, or like said he's going to be gay when he's older. Um, it's just jokes that they make during the program <clears throat> in most pro in most of the like um episodes that they have just St stewie is like ugh he's just made to be made out to be a gay kid um <laughs> but um obviously he's a baby um so just like lol okay but um yeah <laughs> um in south park you have mr garrison who has multiple sex changes um <laughs> And it's really really funny if you don't really watch those sort of programs because you don't find them funny or you're not allowed to watch them or whatever i'm using my hand a lot this ep this video but i don't really care um yeah it, if, if if you don't watch them for any reason you should look it up on the interwebs because yeah um and then you get like um the actual gay programs um like the L word, for instance, I love the L word. Who doesn't love the L word? Well, most people, but that's to the side. Um, but yeah, uh, the L word's awesome. Um, the whole thing is basically about lesbians in LA. Um, apart from this one guy um, who's on T. Uh, his name's Max. Um, but yeah, so. It's, it sort of like um, goes through his story about him being on T testosterone. If you don't know what T is, um, and yeah, it's really really awesome. But that that's only in like the uh, third season, fourth season, maybe second. I don't know. I can't remember. I haven't seen the L word in ages. Um, that's a lie. I watched it last night, but. Um, <laughs> That was another one, so yeah. Um, then you got lip service, which is basically it's nothing like the L word, but it is at the same time. Um, <laughs> it's basically about lesbians, but in England, well, Scotland. Um, that's not in England at all. Um, <laughs> um, it's, it's in Scotland, which is in Britain as a whole. I'm in Britain, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's awesome too. Um, that's on his second season. Sorry, I, I just swore at you all. Um, but um, I believe that's on his second season. It's just finished his second season, I believe. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. I watched it with Alice um, like a month ago or something. And it just felt really, really nice. But um, <laughs> that's irrelevant to everything. Um, so yeah, um, there's a, there's a programme called Queer as Folk. Um, I don't personally watch it, but it's basically the gay equivalent to the L word yeah like with guys rather than girls because girls are gay too but um yeah so it's basically about gay guys and being all like yeah 
I am gay and I like boys. Um, but yeah, so that's like programs that I can think of that have that portray um, gay people in the media. Um, not all the time. Like it, it's very stereotypical, if I'm honest. Um, like especially with um, Family Guy and South Park, because you want to make them look gay or you want to make them look or act a certain way um but yeah so that's that for films no that wasn't films i'm going on to films now this is this is for films um that's all for programs <laughs> so um yeah um okay so black swan everyone's heard of it most people have seen it well not most people but that that has a lesbian scene in it and it's really really hot and everyone should just watch it because it's just oh but um <laughs> yeah um that's portrayed it's portrayed as lesbians being very like up for sex and very sort of whorish um still hot either way but that's just my opinion um <laughs> so uh it's it's not really what most lesbians are like, just saying, I mean, like, it's, it makes lesbians seem very horny, and very, like, oh, like, I want sex, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, that's not, we're all, that's not what we're all like, so yeah, um, Bruno is a movie, I haven't seen that movie, I don't want to see that movie, it just doesn't, like, appeal to me at all um but yeah uh it's about this gay guy going around being gay um <laughs> it just seems very not realistic at all and like i don't know i just don't want to watch it oh well um <laughs> if, if you like bruno then go for it just watch it i don't really care um if you want to see bruno watch it i don't care um but yeah I don't want to, so. Um, this is a movie that everyone should see, but no one has. <laughs> it's like one of those sort of like tucked away movies that no one watches. And no one's heard of it either. Unless you're like looking for gay people movies. Um, this, um, <coughs> ugh, that was awkward as hell. But, um, this movie is called The Truth About Jane. I'm actually going to watch it, well, after I've finished making this video because I've just, oh, it's such an amazing movie. If you're coming out to your parents or, or thinking about coming out to your parents or something, this is the movie for you. I mean, it's about this, this um, girl that doesn't know that she's gay, but, like, she has a crush on this girl and then it all goes, raw, raw, and then, like, she has to come out to her parents and then like no she she doesn't come out to her parents her brother sees her kissing this girl that she has a crush on and it's just like oh ha, what are you doing but it's so good everyone should see it I don't <laughs> but yeah i cried at it multiple times because it's just so emotional and just <clears throat> but um itchy back uh but yeah um another movie that everyone's heard of I want to see it because it just looks awesome. Um, Brokeback Mountain. Um, yeah, Brokeback Mountain. Um, I don't know what it's about. I want to see it though. It's about these two gay guys, I believe, going camping, and then they're all like, mm, "I want you." Um, they, they might be gay. They might be bisexual. I, I don't know what's their deal, but um, yeah, I really want to see it because it just—it's awesome. Well, it looks awesome what I've seen of it um, but yeah another another movie my last movie the last thing I'm going to talk about um, for the topic this week is a uh, but I'm a cheerleader that is a really really weird movie um, it's about this lesbian um, who doesn't know she's a lesbian um, but her parents suspect that she is so and they're very very religious and they sort of send her off to this concentration camp religious person type thing like this camp i think someone just 
Yeah, okay, I, I just got a notification. But yeah, um, that's what happens in it, and it's really, really awesome. And then she like falls in love. I was just like, oh. But yeah, <laughs> it's just a really, really good movie. But it's really, really strange, and it's just like, oh. So yeah, I don't have any movies that I've seen or heard of about um trans people. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really know what, the, what that deal is, I, I don't know, um, I think trans people should get more in the spotlight within movies and um, programmes, it's more to do with programmes um, that introduce the idea of trans people rather than movies at the moment, but I, I think that should definitely be something in the near future that people should do and like make and pr like produce because it's really really important for people and kids who are in that situation they don't know what to do or what to think or whatever and they need to I don't know but yeah but yeah um I don't really I, I don't really have much more to say about that um like she put that across very very poorly um but yeah i mean music everyone's being gay now it's just like half of them aren't it's like kids at school it's like they say that they're bisexual or whatever and then they no then they're not just go away it's like a teenage thing that people go through nowadays and just like mm. that's probably what makes it so hard for parents and people to accept now because yeah um because like people are just faking it and it's just like no no stop it um it annoys me i mean because yeah because of reasons there we go because of reasons um but yeah but yeah i've finished with that piece of paper now so i can put it in the bin um <laughs> but yeah i hope you'll have a lovely week and I hope you all love Pride, Pride, uh, Pride um, next s Saturday, if you're going to World Pride London, because I am, because I live just like half an hour away on the train, and my music stops, I, I don't really care, I really, really don't, but Pride is, uh, uh, um, <laughs> I, I won't be speaking to, to any of you unless you go to Pride and meet me, um, but if if you want, then go for it. I'm I, I'm up for, I'm up for meeting people. Um, but yeah, I, I won't be speaking to you um, before Pride, but I will the day after. So I will speak to you all then. See you all next Sunday. Bye.